it going everybody? I'm Ronald Jr. and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be checking out this Jackson guitar. So let's go ahead and get right into the video. As you can see this guitar has an arch top and that's the thing that drew me to this guitar for the price. Um, back in the day I used to play Lure in Jacksons and honestly they were pretty much junk. I couldn't I couldn't play them. I just thought they were junk honestly. I went to my local uh, guitar store and I was looking around I'm always looking to buy something and I seen this guitar hanging there and it was an arch top and I seen other people had their uh, their eye on it they're like dude look at that guitar it's only it's only 200 bucks right so I grab it and I'm carrying it around and you know we make a deal on it and I bring it home and I'm really impressed with the quality of this guitar for 200 bucks when I got this guitar the guitar store didn't set it up um, the only thing they did was tuned it up I could tell but right out of the box, the frets were perfect. The frets were perfect. I didn't have a problem with any of the frets. I set the action up on it. Um, I put 10 gauge strings on it instead of 9. But overall, this guitar is awesome for the money. I mean, you're getting an arch top, strat, super strat style guitar. You're getting a tilt back headstock with that nice 80s vibe Jackson headstock, right? Um, you get a graphite nut and the the neck I recommend taking off and putting a finish on it because it's just it just feels like raw wood and it's a super fast neck so I'm going to go ahead and finish it with some true oil take it off but this neck is super fast had some fret sprout I corrected that and uh, I oiled the fingerboard which uh, you'll see here in a minute when we go over to the bench I'll show you what's inside this good tar I'll show you what the neck pocket looks like. I'll show you if it's shimmed. I'll show you inside the pickup cavity, the back, see what the pots are. Um, but for 200 bucks, I'm really impressed with the quality of the instrument, wood-wise, um, and some of the hardware. You know, you're getting black hardware, black knobs, black switch tip, black bridge, mine all the way down to the body with a block in there. Uh, I know a lot of people is going to be like, dude, it's a shredder guitar. You need that whammy bar. And which I do agree, but I don't shred very much. Um, and this guitar, just because it's a, it looks like a shredder guitar, it can do all kinds of things. It can shred. It can play the blues. It can play rock. It could play jazz. It could play anything. I'm really impressed with the pickups also. They sound pretty good for what they are. For $200, you can't beat it for what it is. You could throw a set of pickups and some wiring in this thing and you'd have a pretty awesome guitar. Uh, what I love about this guitar is how you have a nice cutaway here and the plates are recessed into the body. It has really wide strap buttons on it and it has cutaway. It allows you to access the higher frets with that cutaway. It has a scarf joint. So what I don't like about the guitar is the tuners the tuners are really jumpy and really loose and uh, I'm not a big fan of them so I'm gonna have to upgrade those they're just your low-end budget tuners and that's where they usually skimp out is the tuners the nut and you know you got many size pots in here and, and not so great wiring and cheap pickups and it does come with a whammy bar. super thin it's black and here's the best thing for 200 bucks for 200 bucks, it just sets in there, just pushes down in there, and you know it's it's where you can grab a hold of it. It's not really you know loosey goosey, but it's enough to where you can you know get a hold of it. It's right there, and then when you're done, this pulls out. It feels very high end when we use something like that on a $200 guitar. Um, I really dig it, and it looks good, and. Uh, it's awesome so you know for 200 bucks I give this guitar an 8 out of a 10 just because you know it doesn't have a good finish on the neck and the tuners suck and the nut is not all that great but this guitar would take very little money to make awesome and honestly right out of the box this guitar is awesome all right we got this guitar here See, it has a real nice carved top to it, but there is some fret sprout. It's pretty sharp. I'm going to correct that today. Put a bigger set of strings on it because these are super 
like, I don't know, must be nines, almost for like eights. Uh, the fretboard looks like it needs a little, little oil. And that's about it. That's all this guitar needs. And we're gonna block off the tremolo, the old school way. And uh, that's about it. Other than that, it sounds pretty good for what it is. Here. I got too many wraps around the post for one. I'm not big on that. I only get two wraps around the post. The frets on this guitar is actually really, really nice. Nice and polished up. Don't have to do anything for a $200 guitar. It's not bad. Not bad at all. Alright. I noticed the nut. It's kind of deep, so we're going to take a file. File the top of the nut down a little bit. So it looks a little bit better. I'm not big on the whole... the whole deep nut thing. some oil on this fretboard. The trick is here not to put a butt load on there. Just a little bit goes a long way. that's made in China. I'm really, really impressed with it. So I'm kind of curious to see what the inside looks like. So we're going to let that soak in. Go ahead and pop a pickup. See what we got inside. Alright, so pickup on the bottom says Bell Cat. Must be like a cheap, cheap pickup that they go with. So, looks pretty good. Um, let's go ahead and wipe this neck up. That neck. Look ten, it looks 10 times better. Like, it was so dry before. It's not all dried out and looked nasty. Looks actually pretty nice. Let's check out this, uh, this neck pocket. So we got the neck off, and as you can see, there is a nice little, nice little shim right there. It's been glued down. It's a sandpaper or something. You see it says number nine. I've seen worse. It's a pretty nice neck pocket. I've seen worse. There's that shim. There's the body. Looks pretty good. Now this is a raw wood finish. It's, I think it's been sealed. Maybe sanding sealer or something but uh i'm just here to correct the the problem with the sides of the frets where they're sharp uh, 
set the action a little higher because I like mine a little higher than the average Joe. There we go. So we got typical Chinese wiring. Sounds pretty good though for what it is. As you can see, all the way tuned up, this is how many wraps I got around all my strings. That's all it takes. You don't need a bunch of wraps. You just need enough to uh, keep it tight and in tune. Um, so what we're gonna do is go ahead and plug it in and we're gonna see what it sounds like. We're gonna do some clean tones um, and then we're gonna do some dirt tones and then I'll let you guys be the judge of what you think of this guitar. As you can see this guitar sounds pretty sick and it plays super fast and it, it feels so good to the hands like it just feels really good uh, the weights there this this probably weighs about six pounds feels pretty good it's not neck heavy um, sounds good like I said I give it an 8 out of a 10 just need to upgrade the tuners you can get by with just upgrading the tuners because it needs it bad because they jump really bad they got especially the G string it has a big jump in it like there's no there's no grabbing the string until like a half turn and it finally starts tuning it but uh, yeah this this is the Jackson guitar the $200 guitar man this thing this thing rocks for $200 so uh, leave your comments below if you got one uh, if you've modded one show me pictures on guitar bus talk show on Facebook uh, leave your feedback in the comments below I'm Ronald jr. and I'll see you guys next time